Hi, mateys. I am the River Pirate. Today we're going to sample a rum straight out of the Caribbean. This one's called El Dorado. Uh, El Dorado 8, which is cask aged 8 years. Um, it's out of the country of Guyana. Um, it's on the northeast side of the, uh, South America. And um, it's kind of a neat bottle. It's got kind of like a pirate ship sort of thing going on on the front of it. Very dark and foreboding, like a storm or the rum running. I'm not sure what they're doing, but kind of neat. Um, I've had El Dorado before. I've had the five and I've had the uh, rum run, which is um, not aged anything. I think maybe two years at the most. Um, really good rum, excellent rum. Uh, I, years ago, I knew a guy from Guyana and he said that the rum is so good there because of the uh, sugar cane and that uh, how they grow it, it's much better than most of the islands in the Caribbean. So he claimed. So uh, let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Uh, we're back to a metal screw cap. Uh, no cork, no plastic um, cap of any kind. Uh, let's pour it. Ooh, it's nice and golden. Look at that. Wow. All right. Um, Definitely a um, darker colored rum. Um, this one has a very pleasant smell. Um, you can almost smell like the little bit of vanilla in there, a little tiny bit. Uh, Tastes the smell a little bit of alcohol in it. Um, very, very, very smells good. Really good. Um, I would say even the um, you can uh, smell the uh, the fact that it was stored in barrels. It's got uh, it's had time to to uh, age uh, gracefully. Uh, hopefully, eight years was long enough. So let's try it and see how it tastes. That's pretty good. Um, that has there's a, it has a burnt right off the top very mild though uh, this is definitely smoother than most rums um, I'm gonna take one more sip so I get a better taste of it yeah I can taste the the, the burn in the back of my throat um, it's not the smoothest rum I've ever had but it tastes very good um, you can tell that it's the aging process has uh, made a difference um, it's hard to compare it to the rum rum because that was more of a dark rum. Um, this is definitely more of a spiced rum. Um, I like it. it. Tastes very good. Um, you can definitely, uh, sip this for sure. Um, and if you uh, had it on the rocks or in a cocktail, it would work just fine. Um, the uh, El, El Dorado is a, a great rum, and uh, I really like it. Uh, I don't buy it, buy it too often because I only like try different rums, and um, I haven't bought it in a while. So uh, not not the eight at least. This is the first time for the eight. Uh, I will give you this. It did. This does taste better than the five. Um, definitely a bit smoother. Um, yeah, a bit smoother. A um, little spicier. Not quite. Um, and just a hint of vanilla. So, um, what do I think of the uh, El Dorado 8? Uh, it's got a seal of approval from this pirate. Um, kind of wish it had a, I don't know, a cork cap. I, I realize I have to go to screw cap to save money. Probably cost, uh, co cost savings there. Um, it's not the best run, rum out there, in my opinion. It's, it's a good rum. It's not a great rum. Um, so that being said, if you're just looking for something to, uh, to enjoy, uh, for the price, I think I paid, uh, again, just over, uh, 20 bucks for it. I think I paid 22 for it, um, which isn't bad. I, I try to keep buy rum that's in the $20 range. Uh, typically you'll find a, uh, they, most of them are, are doable when you get 30, 40, $50. They get way too expensive. So with that, 
Enjoy. Arr.